Hi guys. I did a post bag episode recently where I showed you I picked up this little kit off eBay, one of those cheap kits. It's supposed to be a flashlight, but it's got a bit of circuitry in there so that we can light an LED from a single AAA battery. Now, I've had to search on eBay to find a picture of the finished article because there are no instructions, of course, and it comes with four resistors. Uh, push switch, inductor, transistor, a couple of bits of spiral wire, and you've got to work it out from there. So looking at the picture that I found on the listing, these bits of spiral wire actually solder on the back here straight across there. So that's going to be like that. And the battery sits in there. has got a little plus sign there to help you. Uh, the resistors, as I say, it comes with four resistors, but you read the listing and it says there for practice, so you can practice soldering on this bit on the back here. You only need one of them, and looking at the picture, it looks like this one, which is yellow, brown, black. There's another yellow, brown, brown, black there. There's also two red, red, blacks. So I think we're okay. There's only one place for a resistor, which is just there. Uh, switch is giving me a bit of a problem because I was trying to work out how that's supposed to fit there when the legs all point the other way but it's simply you have to push them through there and bend them over, bend it back. Same with the um, inductor, that one obviously you've got to push through and bend over might be safest to bend the legs before you push it in so you don't snap it. So I think I've got it worked out now where the bits go. This could be fun trying to solder that in place. Because if you hold it and solder it, it's going to burn your fingers. So I'll stop filming for a minute. I'll get some blue tack to hold that and a pair of pliers so I can hold it in place and solder it. Alright, so I have to hold that on there and solder it. So, first bit of soldering done.
second bit. Right. Okay, a resistor. I hope that was the right one. Right, the LED is showing you the flat edge on the circle there. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Flat edge there. So it's got to go in like that and fold over. Sorry about that. I decided to change tools. How that's going to look. Oh, that's handy. It doesn't fit in the slot. Maybe it's yeah, it doesn't doesn't stick all the way through. So. to bend that a bit tighter. Right, now the switch shows in the picture, that goes in. Like that.
made a mess of that. Tidy that up. Come on. Need a bit of wick to get that off, don't I? Come on. If you wanted them to go together, they wouldn't, would they? Right, let's clean that up. And also show a little bit of wire going over it to hold it in place so it doesn't rock about. Are any of those legs long enough? Resistors. Push that up, hold it over. Push it over the other side. I do hope this is in focus. Idea is that stops the switch rocking around when you press the button. Okay, what have we got left? Transistor. YX8115. component inductor I think it's an inductor I think that's what you call it that one wants to bend over as well
So, shall we see if it works? A tight fit. Oh ho! Success! Well, I'll tell you what, that video is saying 13 minutes at the moment, but I did a bit and then I stopped, didn't I? So that's probably taken us half an hour or so, but in truth, it's probably taken me well over an hour because when I first opened it up, I couldn't figure out what we were going to do with the components supplied. So that goes in there like that. That goes in there. And that's our torch. I say somebody will tell you how that circuit works. Inductor, transistor, resistor. Have a look for Jewel Thief. It'll be something like that. Right, job done. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.